Whoa, 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 what the hell are you doing? Well, Mayor West is afraid of zombies, so the city says all caskets must be encased in concrete. You'll thank me when no one eats our brains. You'll thank me. Hold it, stop the funeral! Quagmire's not really dead! Ah, zombie! Ah! But what I need now is a diversion. Let's see. Hmm, jingle keys. My God, I'm a tomato. So, uh, you guys like to party? No! Oh, no. Oh, my God, what a couple of squares. Squaresville, I tell ya! Pizza for Adam West. No! You gave me Canadian bacon instead of bacon? This misdeed cannot go unpunished. Pizza delivery man, prepare to meet your maker at the hands of my cat launcher. Damn, I lost him. All right, cats, back in the bag. Come on, Fluffy. Come on, Mittens. Come on, Paul. What a ridiculous name for a cat. Paul, that's a person's name. A person's name. <laughs> oh, Paul. Mayor West, what are you doing here? I'm being a rascal and ringing people's doorbells and running away. Then what are you still doing here? It's my first house. I'm not very good at this. Ah! 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 So it's a shouting match you want, eh? Well, game on, Quahog. Ah! 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 I'm beating you! All right, listen to me, you long-necked bastard. You give me the scroll, and I make you head of sanitation services for the entire city. It's a do-nothing job, sweet cake. Thank you all for coming. We invited Jesse Jackson to open our negotiations with a prayer. Ooh. Oh, my. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. So in his place, we have LaToya Jackson. Thanks. Um, rub-a-dub-dub. Thanks for the grub. Yay, God. How very inappropriate. Thank you. Well, how about you just give me a pen? You mean this cheap little pen we have millions of back at the office? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, Jim, you are truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Damn it, Swanson, I want them found. Mayor West, we have every available man looking for the Griffins. We just don't have any leads. Not the Griffins, you moron. The rest of my light, bright pieces. My name isn't Adam Wee. Or is it? Who am I? What number did you dial? Don't ever call here again. I guess I told him... Nobody messes with Adam Wee. So I'll be a captain, and, uh, Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. <laughs> Future old people are wizards. Dr. Brown, I just killed nine people! Ah, uh, I mean, I have ducks on my feet. Old crazy harmless mayor. Quack, quack! Let's see. I guess 185 pounds. Wrong. I'm 95% helium. You know what? I will have some of that. What the... What the hell is this? Cream corn. I brought it from home because I don't like the cream corn they have here. It's too crunchy. Two shakes, that's it. Move along. Oh, why thank you, Tinkle Fairy. Today we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat Bootsy out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon and we're here to honor him. Nice going, Joe. Well, it's great being back in the North, where people are civilized.
Hey, what are you guys all on a date? Gay! And now back to Romancing the Stone. The only way they're not gonna kill my sister is if we give them the stone. Well, they're gonna be looking everywhere. We'll have to hide it in my chin. Uh-oh, here they come. You better get in there, too. Good God! Joan Wilder's sister is being held hostage in Cartagena, and there's not a policeman in sight. I guess it's up to me. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Diane Simmons. Our top story, Mayor West has dispatched the entire Quahog police force to Cartagena, Colombia, to assist in the rescue of fictional 1984 movie character Elaine Wilder. More on that later. Ah! Mayor West? Quiet, young man. Can't you see we're having a poker game? Now, I'll ask again. If I order a pizza, will anyone else have some? I might have a slice. Well, you know, I'm going to need more of a commitment than that, Mark. Uh, pardon me? I just bought a Rottweiler, and I need a sign to warn people how dangerous it is. Well, we have exactly what... Ah, uh, yes, here it is, one way. So people will know if they step into my yard, there's only one way out. In a body bag. From dog injuries. Good day, ma'am. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join these two in holy matrimony. If anyone objects to this union, speak now, or forever hold your peace. Quiet down, you had your chance. Here comes Mayor Adam West himself. Mr. West, do you have any words for our viewers? Box, toaster, aluminum, maple syrup. No, I take that one back. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Thank you, Mayor West. Which would make you... A communist! Ah! Ah! Ow! Damn! Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? Mayor West, after working with you for some time now, I believe you are affecting your weird behaviors. You are doing deliberately odd things to mask dark, maybe even criminal activities. You are 100% aware of what you're doing. I think you're a dangerous sociopath. Cleveland, let me tell you something. You're absolutely right. Well, time to put on my spaghetti hat. What was all the commotion? Oh, nothing. It was just... <laughs> Perhaps it was the Noid who should have avoided me. Ugh, get a tan. Gather today to remember those brave Quahog men who were lost at sea. The Bible declares an eye for an eye. So let us now take our vengeance on this murderous ocean. <laughs> you won't be hurting anyone anymore. Milk, butter, cat food, those new potato chips in the snack aisle, beer, deodorant, garbage bags, toothpaste. Adam, I think that's your shopping list. No, these are my vows. They're all the reasons why I'll always love you. Oh, Adam. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. That's it. We have to fight fire with fire. If nuclear refuse gave them superpowers, it could do the same for me. Citizens, I'm off to the toxic waste dump. Mayor West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. You dick. Excuse me, Mayor West? How do you know my language? Listen to me. My entire future is in your hands. Are you Sarah Connor?
No, I'm Meg Griffin. See, I need to interview you and... You're with the press? Yes. Well, you can't interview a dead man, can you? Oh my god, are you all right? I'm fine. Lucky for you, this tree was my destination. And the job exchange begins. Sir, do you want to move ahead on the agreement with the sanitation union? Sir, we need leadership. For an hour, and I don't have anything I can use for my article. Can you just please... My God! Somebody's stealing my water. It just went down the drain. They're crafty, I tell you. It happens when you least expect it. Show yourself, damn you! I've been investigating him for months. It's cost $150,000 of the taxpayer's money, but I'll find the culprits if it costs me a million. Oh, God, I love this song. And I love it when amateurs sing the lyrics. But I hate baseball cards. Someone win! All this singing is contagious. I'll sing, too. Adam West, Adam West. A little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West. Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. Just kiss your fruitcakes! Freshman. <laughs> Oh, I got you, you freshman. I'm going to teach you the lesson that it is not okay to be a freshman. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No more, Mr. Clean. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. They say he's sick. He's a C. Mayor West? Well, well, Mr. Toilet. I thought you were in the Hamptons. No, 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 it's me, Meg Griffin. Young lady, I don't talk to the press under any circumstances. What makes you think I'll talk now? This. You just don't give up, do you? You seize life by the throat and shake it like a topless bartender mixing a martini. You've got your interview. <gasps> Thanks. Hey, hey, listen to this. Do I sound like I'm on old-time radio? Stupid place still doesn't have my dry cleaning. That's not a dry cleaner's, it's a dance club. It is? Well, that explains a lot. Oh, this is my jam! 